Hi, Andrew here. So today we're going to test something that some viewers have been asking for for a really long time. It's Federal 130 grain 38 Special HST. Of course, we're going to shoot it from the revolver that most people would probably shoot a 38 Special from, which is going to be a short barrel, in this case, Smith & Wesson Model 638. Of course, obviously you could shoot it from a 4 inch barrel 38 or 357, but generally speaking, if you're carrying 38 Special for defense, it's probably in a really short barrel. Let's get out to the range and take a look. Okay, so no big surprise here that they both expand in bare gel. Almost anything expands in bare gel. But, at first glance, there seems to be a pretty big difference in penetration depths. And again, you'll notice that this bullet bounced back way more than is typical. Normally you'll see maybe about a half an inch or so, and I typically just measure to the bullet's farthest progress, the end of the bullet itself, not the track, because that can be the result of stretching, or it can be the result, in this case, of the bullet bouncing backward along its track. You can clearly see that it did make it up to this point, and then came back. So if we measure to the end of the tracks in the gel, penetration is 11.7 inches, and... 12.6 inches. So one of them coming a little short of the 12 inch mark, the other one going a little bit over, but both tracks are pretty close to each other if you count just the tracks, not where the bullet stopped. Okay, so in the bear gel this isn't very surprising because almost any poorly designed jacketed hollow point can still expand and penetrate adequately in bear gel. That's not the hard part. 38 Special is particularly in a rough spot because it doesn't have a lot of mass or a lot of velocity. Remember that 38 Special, although it's a larger case than 9x19 or 9mm NATO, 9mm Parabellum, whatever you want to call it, 38 Special was designed for black powder. So it's designed for much lower pressures than 9mm is designed for. And in addition to the lower pressures, we also usually shoot 38 Special from a revolver, which of course has a cylinder gap, which further reduces velocities. All of that together means that it has a hard time competing against 9mm in terms of terminal performance. When it comes to heavy clothing, as well as bear gel, we usually end up seeing a trade-off, where either we get good expansion and adequate penetration in bare gel or we get good expansion and adequate penetration in heavy clothing but we often see loads that can't do both so here is where the rubber meets the road let's get out to the range test this same load same revolver through heavy clothing and see how it does Okay, so we did lose one of the bullets out the side of the block right here. Otherwise, the performance looks almost identical to the bear gel, which is really impressive. The penetration on the bullet that was retained, 12.4 inches, and it looks to have very large and uniform expansion. All right, so that's really good performance, and if I wasn't such a nerd, I would just leave it as it is. But, years ago, I accidentally did a cold weather 38 special test, where it just happened to be a really cold day for Arizona, at about 40 degrees, and I was testing Spears short barrel 135 grain gold dot load, and it just didn't do very well through the heavy clothing, and not even great in the bear gel. Later, I tested it on a warmer day, and it performed perfectly, and it turns out that just 
the difference in temperature was enough to cause enough muzzle velocity difference to cause a difference in performance. Remember that 38 Special is already marginal as it is, and a colder temperature caused poorer performance. So, I want to see how this load does at a slightly slower velocity induced by cold temperature. I immersed the rounds in ice water and I kept the revolver in the cooler to get cold temperatures on both. Fired a round through heavy clothing. Let's see what it does. Okay, that's pretty impressive. So again, full expansion despite the cold temperature. Now, penetration is a little shallow, 10.1 inches and 11.8 inches. This shallower one here did not bounce back at all like the one in the bear gel. So that's the true actual penetration for sure. Yes, it falls short of that 12 inch mark. This one just barely short though. All right, that's not perfect performance. It didn't open up completely, but bear in mind that a lot of other loads in 38 Special can't expand at all through heavy clothing, even at normal temperatures, let alone at about 40 degrees or so. So this is pretty good. Um, <laughs> bearing in mind these conditions. Now, of course, remember that if you're carrying the revolver on your person, the gun and the ammo is always going to be at about 80 or 90 degrees or so. We'd only see a cold temperature case when the revolver was carried in a glove box or a purse or maybe a jacket pocket or something like that. Nevertheless, I ammo nerd pretty hard and I thought you guys might be interested in seeing how it performs in a wider range of circumstances than we normally test. If you'd like to see this sort of unusual testing in the future, leave a comment below. If you have the time, head on over to Ventura Munitions website. They're our sponsor. They're what make these videos possible. They're the ones that provided the ammunition and without them, we wouldn't be able to do these videos. So helping them helps us. And of course, as always, like, share, and subscribe because it's not just something that we say at the end of YouTube videos. It helps the channel and it helps YouTube understand the kind of videos that you want to see. Have a great day.